Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So as you can see in the title down below, it is all about the nudes. We are going to be talking about nude lip colors for women of color especially because we can tend to get this a little bit wrong, a little bit twisted, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to show you how to pull off a great nude, even if it might be a little bit too bright for your skin color, but how to pull it off and what to do. And also some of my favorite nudes on the market right now. So if you would like to see this video, then definitely please do keep watching. So let's get into it. Some people may call me the nude queen, which is uh, what one of my friends calls me. She says I'm the nude queen because I pull off a lot of nudes. I can take pinks and make them into a really nice nude. And of course there's browns, which are really nice nudes. But basically I wear nude colors all the time. Um, call it maybe my comfort zone. I really, really love to wear nude colors and it's just, it's, it's, it's just my thing really, to be honest. Um, so, because I love them so much, I've kind of learned how to pull them off over the years. Of course, also watching videos and things like that. Because some nudes, yo, some nudes can de you, girl. They can just make you go, you know. And you tend to look at a woman and you think, okay, that, 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 that pink is a little bit too bright. But if you had used like a... Like a, like a brown or a, like a plum kind of color, you would have pulled it off into a nice nude. So that's what I'm going to be telling you guys about today. Okay. So the first thing you would need to pull off a great nude color, lip pencils. Lip pencils are your best friend when it comes to nude colors. The reason why I say that is because some nudes are great. You can pull them off solo, alone, and some nudes require a lip pencil. The two most important lip pencils for me are these two. This is the Essence eyeliner it's an eye pencil actually but it's in hot chocolate i love it i use it for my lips and of course max chestnut these are brown lip pencils um let me see if i can show you so it's a it's a really dark brown and then chestnut is slightly on the lighter side but it's also a brown pencil these are really really great especially when you are wearing nudes because nudes are so important they're great because um, it pulls off a nude in such a way that you don't look ashy, you don't look like you're hungry, you don't look like ooh, what was the struggle when you woke up in the morning, right? So I absolutely love, love, love my pencils and my most favorite ones, apart from the brown ones that I showed you, I've got two chestnuts, wow, that's nice. Um, is one is Deverish, it's also from MAC, it is a very light sort of, um, it's a pink color, but more on the mauve side. And I also like a really dark, rich, almost plum color to also pull off a nude and make it look a little bit deeper. And this one is from Smudge, and this one is Smudge. You can find it's a gel lip liner. Smudge you can find at um, Clicks stores. This is Chalk Purple, which is also really, really, oh, it's really a, a great color. It's the one over there. It's a great color to pull off a nude with. So right. to pull off a great nude, a brown lip liner is necessary because it's great because you literally just apply the brown lip liner on the outer rim of your lip. Maybe pull it in towards the center of your lip a little bit and then apply the nude lipstick or liquid lipstick on top. This sort of neutralizes the nude instead of make it pop, especially when it's a very, like a snob color from MAC or um, Velvet Teddy from MAC. It's, it's a color that we can't really pull off. I'll show you Velvet Teddy, I've got it now. It's a color that we can't pull off on its own, but it's a great color as a nude pulled off with a brown lip pencil. So brown lip pencils are your best friend when you are pulling off nudes. And I've got a bunch of nudes here to show you. Some high end and of course um, some lower end um, nudes. Whew, I can't talk today. Some high end and some lower end nudes that you can pull off and um, wear. I know a lot of people tend to shy away from nudes because they're very difficult to wear, but some you can just, you can pull them off, girl. So we're gonna start off with the lower end brands and I've got a couple here to show you. The one that I love the most, and this is like more of a nude lip gloss. This is uh, from L'Oreal Paris. I forget what they call them. I'll, I'll put it somewhere uh, on the screen to show Show you this is the color number 500 which is Malto mauve I don't know if you guys will see it but it's sort of like a pink 
uh, lip gloss there that's what it looks like I love to pair this with a brown lip liner all the time all the time it's a standard and then I also have uh, from Eminence Cosmetics a great great nude um, Eminence Cosmetics is a South African brand and that's how that one looks over there it's a great nude to pull off alone or you can also pull it off with a uh, brown lip liner really really great you can find eminence on um instagram eminence cosmetics yes if you can't find it look at my instagram and then you'll see it somewhere a newbie is from mina and this is the um I don't know if it's more of like a liquid lipstick but the color is number 505 and yes it is a liquid lipstick and it's also a really great nude this is more on the mauve kind of side so this is more on the mauve side but it's a great nude nudes can be browns or pinks but it depends on how you apply them for them to look like a great great nude and from NYX the lip lingeries from NYX I really really love uh, these two colors and this is this is beauty mark and this one is honeymoon these are proper proper nudes as you can see them they're more on the brown gray side but they are so nice oh lord I don't even know how you're gonna see this because I'm even ap applying it so crappily <laughs> on my arm but they sort of are brown um, tint touches of brown actually oh beauty mark is so pretty is a brown is a brown but these are really really great um, next lip lingerie has a lot of nudes that you can try out as well as um, L'Oreal L'Oreal has great nudes that you can try out as well and then on the high-end front in terms of lipsticks uh, I've got three here two from Mac one is hug me and this is a luster finish and this is a great nude because you can wear it solo you can wear it without any lip liner it's great with a lip liner or without a lip liner it just gives a really nice uh, sheen kind of finish on your lips really really nice and you can reapply it very soft and moisturizing on the lips very nice not creamy like the cream sheens but just a really soft sheen on your lips i love that one and then the infamous velvet teddy which is legit like a proper pink as you can see of course with a proper pink you would need to wear it with a um brown lip, li lip liner but it's really really nice as well and then a fave of mine that which i use a lot in the winter time is chai and this is oh this is like this is like a proper nude you can wear this this is very similar to touch from mac if you've used touch before it literally blends into my skin so i can't even show it to you but it's a proper 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 nude it's such a pretty color i love this color and it's moisturizing as well so it's not a matte finish love it it's from smashbox smashbox has really nice lipsticks and liquid lipsticks uh, of course you have seen these i'm not going to speak about these too much uh my recent purchase was this one which is bittersweet me these are the mac lip glosses and this is spice spite spice and bittersweet me are great 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 nudes i'm not even gonna lie like they are so nice you will love them you just need to try them out and see how they fit for you but they are great and these because they are lip glosses you don't even need a lip pencil with it but nudes can be browns can be pinks can be uh the mauvey side of things it all just depends on how you apply it and by far my current favorite liquid lipsticks and i think these wear the best and they fade the best these are the smashbox liquid lipsticks but they call them the always on liquid lipsticks a brown which is a proper proper nude a brown is a nude for some people a brown is a nude for some people a brown is a brown but this is a really really nice nude and this is in true grit and my favorite nude which i've been wearing quite a lot lately recently is uh the always on stepping out liquid lipstick from smashbox as well these are really really great i really do suggest that you try them out and see how they fit but you will love them so the key with the nude is pair it with a lip liner try it out line the outer rim of your lips with the nude uh with the brown line the outer rim of your lips with the brown lip pencil and then um fill in your lips with the nude lipstick i tell you it's the 
that's the only way to go so these are some of my favorite ones i literally can't even speak because there's so many of them and i get so excited when i talk about nudes no. <laughs> these are my faves i'm gonna go now i hope you enjoyed this video i'm gonna go because I, I practically can't talk i think i'm hungry uh but i will talk to you guys in the next video bye